Yeah. It is now uh, 1115 on this Friday night. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You've had a busy night. I have had a busy night. We, we sort of call that babysitting the radar. radar. Okay. You take right. a look, you see, make sure it doesn't crawl out of the crib, it doesn't kind of throw any things around. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's sort of been sort of that evening we've had here, Russ, and uh, throwing things around is sort of figurative speaking, figuratively speaking, about what could be happening tomorrow with some of the Halloween decorations out there on your front lawns with the gust gusty winds, you may want to tie those things down. Let's begin with radar on this Friday evening here. You can see it's still pretty active. I want to show some love to our, our viewers down there in Carroll and also Tuscarawas County. You can see still some activity moving through there. This is mainly rainfall. As I said before, the energy has sort of kind of rained itself out with this system. We lost that daytime heating and we've lost a lot of the humidity that we had earlier this evening as well. What comes to follow with behind this cold front is going to be some trailing rainfall and rainfall. I mean, it's going to be moderate to heavy with some time. So of course it is dark out there right now. So some of the visibility will be lost mainly because of the sunshine is gone as well. But some of the heavier downpours will certainly limit the uh, visibility. Ashtabula County, we're also watching you as well up towards North Mason or Madison. You can see in Trumbull, there's still some more rainfall headed your way. Route 6 still watching that area as well. My brother came over from Philadelphia this evening and he ran right into the rainfall and some of the thunderstorms activity as well. And he said it is something you do not want to mess with. So you can see there with our temperatures falling this evening. Notice the winds come in off of the lake. The lake is still warm. And once we get that drier air moving on in here, we get the humidity level going on out. So we're going to be dry as cotton here going forward. That is already taking effect back towards the Plain States. All of that colder air is going to filter right into Northeast Ohio, and that's what we have coming our way. Big takeaway from tonight, though, stopping the clock at about 3 a.m., you'll see what sort of appears like a glob of activity happening. That is a lot of rainfall we have coming our way, my friends. Your national design hour by hour forecast will keep this energy and this rainfall around through the morning hours by daybreak tomorrow. You can see we still have some moderate to heavy rainfall coming on in. Brighter colors indicating heavier rainfall. Temperatures remarkably different from today. Starting out with 50s in most areas come tomorrow morning. Cloud cover sticking around here, and you can see sort of that classic trail coming in from the north and west. That's that a uh, backside of that area of low pressure because we have a very warm lake. Hitting the afternoon hours, we'll have some sort of that uh, lake effect shower activity streaming on in, and that stays in our weather story through tomorrow evening into the overnight headed for Sunday before we started to push that energy on out of here. And so that is good news for us. You can see here, at least for the rest of the day tomorrow, high temperature expected in the low 60s, sort of that raw feeling. It's going to be windy, gust up to about 30 miles per hour. High temperatures with those northwesterly winds for the most part, staying in the upper 50s, low 60s. So that is great news, bringing the fall-like feeling right back into Northeast Ohio which we do love hitting 80 degrees today. No longer going to be the picture for tomorrow and any it's not going to be in the seven day either. You can see there by the time we get to our Browns as they face off against the Cardinals there on Sunday. Kickoff is going to be about 4 or 5 p.m. 63 degrees expected. Union home mortgage seven day Sunday a.m. clouds. PM, you are likely going to see some sunshine, which we like to enjoy as well. Low 60s for highs by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. A ridge high pressure just envelops us. It allows things to be quiet, allows things to be stable and pretty sunny as well. Towards the end of the week, we turn a little bit of energy in with another cold front. Although it's going to keep our temperatures in the 60s, this one is not going to be a rain out. Russ, it has been a great fall so far. So. <laughs> All right, Jason, thank you.